So put the engine back in, a bit of a wrestle by myself, a bit of a wiggle and a jiggle. And then I've started polishing up um, the um, cylinder head covers, making them shine, etc. Um, and I've just coming around to set the uh, valve timing. Uh, on the valves just to double check that. Now if I just shine the top in here so you can see. So there's the um, top of the valve with the valve guide. The same on the other side. Um, looks lovely. That's the inlet. Come around to the front and the exhaust. So there's the left hand cylinder. I found a massive problem. The right hand cylinder and I don't know why I didn't notice this when I was putting it back together for whatever reason whether I've bent it since I don't know but this exhaust valve is um, really badly bent so <laughs> hi welcome back to the garage I'm rich <clears throat> so um, in this episode, we are going to uh, start the process of fixing that bent valve I found um, last time. So, um, what we need to do is we need to get the cylinder head off um, in order to access the cams. Uh, so, if we remove the cam at the front, um, we can remove the valves. Um, well, move the, remove the bent valve. In order to do that, Unfortunately, I have to take the whole engine off the bike. There is no space um, here in order to lift this off. So um, we, we've got these hex nuts on top, which will need to come off, and that, that facilitates the lifting of um, the cylinder head off. I'm hoping to leave the inlet side untouched. I'm just going to um, just going to remove the cam from the exhaust side. So anyway, we'll see how it goes. Let's get cracking. Go. Um, and I have just jacked the engine up a little bit just to take the pressure off um, these bolts um, and I'm going to drive them through. Um, and once that's done, with a bit of jiggery pokery, the engine comes uh, this way out the left hand side of the bike the same way it went in. <laughs> engine on the floor again um, so <clears throat> next task is to um, need to break the need to break cam chain now fortunately replacement cam chains come as single chains uh, they come out of the box as single chain so you, you get your brand new chain you have to break the chain um, to thread it all the way through underneath the crank back through the top of the cylinder head here um, and then rejoin it um, with a master link. Now um, this cam chain is brand new um, so it galls me a little bit that I'm going to have to um, break it. I have ordered a replacement. Uh, I figured it's probably just a good idea just to replace the whole lot. Anyway so that's the next job. I'm going to break the cam chain um, with the breaking tool um, and then go over the top with the um, eight um, cap nuts, loosen those off in a crisscross pattern and lift the head off. Um, simple as that, he says. Thank you. 
so the 450 engine um, from this point down which is fairly basic you've got the got the jug here got the two pistons um, crank underneath fairly straightforward the um, cylinder head is it's a complicated part and that's the that's the, where all the um, where all the technology is now these are um, brand new pistons in here now just looking at the tops of both of them I don't know whether you can see here um, so this one's got a bit more carbon build up um, this is actually the one that I was having um, problems with um, with the carburetors and the um, the ignition um, to the coils um, so this one was intermittently firing and this one's quite clean um, I don't know if you can make out the number just down there but I ended up having to have um, the cylinders reboard to um, 0.5 of a mil um, so freshly bored cylinders uh, new pistons and rings uh, fitted by the uh, shop um, not by me I'm not going to touch any of this I'm going to leave this as is um, and just tackle the head obviously I'm going to be replacing the um, gaskets um, as we go through okay so up on the bench here I've got the uh, cylinder head now this uh, roller wheel that you can see here I'm um, just protruding from the bottom is uh, part of the cam chain system um, I'll show you a picture of that shortly it's quite a complicated uh, cam chain system actually it's a bit of a bugger um, to get the chain on top of the cams and through that space at the top there but we'll tackle that when we um, when we put it back together um, so one two three four valves um, this this one here this exhaust valve here is the offending item um, the rest are fine um, as I'm going to be taking the uh, exhaust cam out um, I might as well go ahead and relap the old um, valve again obviously I'll have to lap the, um, the new valve as well the other part which I think is quite interesting about these engines is um, the valves don't actually have um, a spring on them um, there's a torsion bar here that provides the um, correct uh, torsion to uh, keep the spring down so um, which you know is held in place by these um, cylinder head covers okay and this is where I think I've caused the problem now reviewing the footage that was taken as I was putting the uh, engine back in place when I put the cover back on this side the um, the valve, the, the, the rocker on the valve there had come loose and as I pushed it on in that position that you can see it now it's pushed the tip of the valve across and unfortunately I have bent uh, the piston anyway um, done bun can't be undone so um, later this week the new piston new chain new gasket set um, it's all arriving so I'll be able to button it back up again um, by then okay um, so let's go ahead and remove the um, cap So that's the exhaust cam out. Now the exhaust cam is um, different to the inlet cam that it's got um, this bit here for the um, the mechanical advance and the points to attach to and it's also got this, this slot on this side here for the tachometer drive to fit into as well. So this one's a bit more of a fiddle to get into the bike. Okay now we're into the, um, the valves. So um, on each one we have Uh, the rocker arms which are held like this and these if you can see there so it's slightly moving it's an elliptical rather than a cylindrical um, piece here um, and that's what sets the 
um, the valve clearance between um, the lobe and the rocker there. Okay, now to remove these, um, on the side here at the torsion bar you have to apply um, pressure with uh, a wrench as you unscrew the bolt. So I don't know if you can make it out here, but uh, I'll show you again on the other side. So this is a, a 14 um, this 14 mil spanner. And what you do is you you place um, upwards pressure on it. So I don't know if you can see the torsion bar there um, wiggling. Okay, basically you have to apply pressure, undo the bolt, and then to help draw out the torsion bar, which is incredibly fiddly. Now, inside of here, we have the bent valve and the good valve. Okay, so I'm going to deal with the uh, the bent valve first. So, down inside there, you've got a retaining clip. You've got, um, you've got this piece here, which is connected to um, the lifter. Um, and then you've got all of that gubbins in there as well. Now, all I need to do is remove the um, collets from in here and the sleeve. So, collets first. And then we've got so you've got the collets and the collet sleeve there. cylinder but one where I'm pretty sure I've caused the damage um, but it's bent um, the engine would have turned probably um, but it wouldn't have turned very well it wouldn't have run very well at all so anyway head off exhaust came out holes out um, waiting new parts to put it back together That's what I'm going to call it uh, tonight. Um, so um, a fair deal of progress made, um, just dismantling, which is which is not overly nice. But so we've got the cylinder head off, um, the exhaust came out, and both exhaust valves out. Um, we've got our culprit here, Mr. Bent one, um, which I'm just going to leave inside the head there, so I know where he is. And the um, left hand exhaust uh, valve. Um, which is good, Getting the right way around, bent one in there, 
the left hand exhaust cam, which is very good. We're going to put to the side so we remember where it is. Um, so by the end of the week, I should have um, the new valve, new cam chain, uh, new gasket set. So I'll be able to pop it all back together, button it back up again, shove it back on the bike. A um, little setback, but um, not a problem. We'll, 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 we'll get there. Um, so if you found this anywhere useful, um, please give me a big thumbs up. Um, leave a comment down below or consider subscribing to the channel. Um, I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.